Uh, thank you very much for the chance to speak today. <clears throat> My name is Greg McKee. I have owned a bike shop called The Bike Doctor for 30 years now. And during that time, I probably spoke to 10,000 cyclists and interacted with them. I have uh, personally cycled probably 100,000 kilometers around Saskatoon. Um, I'm the president of a club called Bike Doctor Detours, which has 168 members, very active members, about half women, about half men. And I think this is a very good proposal. I'm quite impressed with the proposal to reduce speeds on bikeways and create bikeways and reduce the speeds to 30 kilometers per hour. So I used to do a lot of cycling advocacy, but I stopped doing it about 10 years ago because I just found it so incredibly frustrating. And then Natasha and Darren were killed riding their bikes and I just felt compelled to get back involved again. And so I started um, communicating with Saskatoon Cycles. And it became apparent when we started talking about it that the, the cycling community has not always put forward uh, a clear message. And so the first thing that we did was we distilled our message. And so what we are advocating for is, uh, is a continuous active transportation network that is safer and free of gaps and danger zones. And we don't have that right now. So we know it's not feasible to build an entire network of fully separated bike lanes. It's also not necessary. And this proposal fills our goals exactly. It produces many kilometers of safer active transportation. And the ROI seems to be very high. And I see from reading through the report that only 31% of people oppose it. And I found from leading any organization that one third of people hate any kind of change. So that's not, that's not really substantial to me. Um, and though, for those people, um, I'm not sure that they understand that if you look around Saskatoon, like I, it, it, it is in my notes to refer to Walter Murray Collegiate. <clears throat> I go past there regularly. And there are very often about 200 bikes out front there. It, they're overflowing the bike racks. And uh, those 200 bikes represent 200 independent teenagers, 200 parents who don't have to go to work late during the day. So I think we owe it to those people uh, to provide safer active transportation for them. I've also noticed that I don't think that all business people are against the Avenue C bikeway uh, because I'm getting known in my network for cycling advocacy now. Um, I've had two business people approach me who have businesses in the north. One is Greg Ewell, the other is Abe Azadi. And Greg has, uh, runs a, a hangar at the airport and he and Abe both employ a lot of uh, new immigrants. And they want to help their people get to work. So they both support the Avenue C bikeway, because getting there, these families can't afford two cars, obviously. And uh, it's not always easy by bus. Sometimes they have to take two transfers. So they're strong supporters of the Avenue C bikeway. So I support the, th the 30 kilometer an hour limit on bikeways and the production of more bikeways. Uh, one of the interesting things about it is that 30 kilometers an hour is about what a legal e-bike is governed to top out at. So those bikeways will be perfect for all of the people and this explosion of e-bikes that we see out there. If we think it's, if we think they're everywhere now, if you go to other jurisdictions, there's just going to be more and more of them. So I think this, I think this bikeway idea is bold and I think we need to do something bold to, because I think Saskatoon needs safer active transportation. I think most of us understand that now after the tragedies in, of this year. So I think this proposal legitimately offers a chance to leap ahead in terms of safe active transportation. And I think this can provide optimism to the thousands of people 
in my network. So I support it completely. Thank you. Very good oh, timing. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us today, Mr. McKee.